Unit 4 Our Journey Delhi to Shimla by Car On their journey, Monica and her family use the latest technology available on phones these days. Let us find out if their journey was a success. It was Friday evening and Monica was excited. She was going to Shimla with her family on Saturday morning. Monica liked the summer vacations and the summer trips. Delhi was unbearably hot in summer and Monica did not like the heat. During summer, her friends would not come out to play and she would be indoors all through the day. Moreover, there was a lot of sweating. Every summer during the vacations, her parents would take her to some cooler place and the whole family would enjoy themselves. This summer trip was different. Monica's father had recently purchased a black Maruti Swift car and they were planning to go to Shimla in it. Monica was going to navigate. It was not an easy job, but Monica was confident. Monica's father entered her room and asked, Have you packed everything for the trip? Yes, Dad. My packing is done. Monica replied, So, how are you going to navigate on this trip? Did you check the All India Road Map that I bought for you last month? Dad, checking the All India Road Map gives some details. But there is a faster and more efficient way. So, how are you going to guide us? Asked the father. At school, we have learned about an application called Google Maps. This application can take care of all our navigation needs. You can even download it on your Android phone. Here, let me show you how it is done. With this, Monica took her father's Android phone from him. First, you have to go to the Play Store and search for Google Maps. Then, you have to click on Install for installing it on your phone. While explaining this to her father, Monica installed the application on his phone. This is an excellent application. It has many interesting features. You can use it for checking the distance and estimated time that it will take. It can show car and public transportation routes. It even shows the traffic on the road and suggests roads with less traffic, said Monica excitedly. And how will it help us on the way? Her father asked. Google Maps also has a location option. It can use the global positioning system or mobile networks for estimating our location. This way, it knows where we are on the road and guides us step by step. Monica replied. She then entered the start and end location in the app and showed the result to her father. Dad, Shimla is 356 km away and it will take 8 hours to reach there. She said, Well, you are the navigator. You plan the route and guide me on the way. Her father said, Now go and help your mother with her packing. Monica checked with her mother. All the packing was done and everyone went to bed. Monica had a restless night. She was very excited and kept on waking up again and again to check the time. Around 4 a.m., Monica's parents woke up. By this time, Monica had already brushed her teeth, taken a bath and rechecked her packing. Monica watched her dad put the luggage in the car and by 5.15 a.m. 
they were ready to start the journey. A cool breeze was blowing. Soon, Monica and family moved out of Delhi Cant towards Shimla. Oh, I forgot to fill patrol last night. Monica's father remarked. Almost all the patrol pumps will be closed at this time. Do not worry, Dad. We can use Google Maps to find a patrol pump. I know the location of some of the patrol pumps in the area. But how will we know if the patrol pump is open at this time? Google Maps has a special feature that shows different businesses and their timings. It also tells the businesses which are open now and the time at which they close. We can use this feature to find a patrol pump that's open at this time. Do not worry, I can find it. Monica started entering the data into the Google Maps app. The app showed her the list of patrol pumps in the area. She filtered the list to show only the open patrol pumps. Then she selected one of the patrol pumps that was open and guided her father to it. Monica's dad asked, Where should we stop for breakfast, Monica? Let me check, Dad. Monica replied. She opened Google Maps and searched for restaurants in the nearby areas and told him the names. Well, there are several restaurants in the area, but how do we decide? Asked her father. This is the good part. Google Maps allows actual users to review and rate the available businesses including restaurants. The users can also click photograph and link them to the business. Some of them even click pictures of menus and actual dishes served to them. This way we can check about the quality of the service. Monica checked the ratings of various nearby restaurants. She read the reviews posted by other travelers. She checked the images of food items and finally decided on Gulshan Dhaba. The sun was just coming up when they reached the Dhaba. It was early morning, but the Dhaba was filled with vehicles of travelers who were stopping on the way to wherever they were going. They stopped there and had tea as well as aloo parathas for breakfast. After having breakfast, they continued on their journey. Around 11 a.m., they reached Ambala. Monica once again checked her map. Around 12 noon, they reached Kalka and they could see the Shivalik range of the Himalayas ahead of them. On reaching Dharampur, it was nearly 1 p.m. and they decided to stop for lunch. Monica checked her maps and selected Shane Himachal Dhaba based on the ratings. After having lunch, the family continued towards Shimla. They reached Shimla around 2 p.m. They found that their journey in the car to Shimla had been easy and comfortable. One of the reasons was the help they got from Google Maps. Words and Meanings